Liverpool City Council's decision not to pay everyone who will be working at the Eurovision Song Contest has been heavily criticised online. Some volunteer roles will see those who sign up on their feet for the duration of their shift and volunteering in a fast-paced environment unpaid, with some roles requiring essential training. Critics have dubbed a call-out for 500 unpaid volunteers to work for free during the profitable event exploitative and insulting during a cost-of-living crisis that has seen millions across the country struggling to pay crippling bills. Some pointed out how Eurovision hosts Rylan and AJ Adudu will be paid for their efforts to make the event a success as they suggested the council reconsider their decision to use volunteers later this year. Mayor of Liverpool Joanne Anderson tried to defend the planned use of unpaid volunteers as many slammed the proposal on social media, recalling the hours of free time she has given the labour movement when replying to a concerned trade union over the weekend. The grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 will take place at the Liverpool Arena next to the River Mersey on Saturday 13th of May with semi-finals on 9 and 11th of May, due to the fact last year's winners Ukraine are unable to host amid their ongoing war with Russia. Liverpool's winning bid to host the music competition beat the likes of Manchester and Glasgow's proposals, with Liverpool City Council expecting Eurovision to bring around £25 million for Liverpool City region's economy during May itself. Hosting the event will also increase tourism to the city by up to 5% a year, which equates to over £250 million extra revenue by 2026. Investment is already coming into the region through skills and training, development opportunities for young people and the creation of new jobs, the council writes when answering Eurovision FAQs on their website. On February 2, four unpaid roles were advertised on Twitter ahead of Liverpool welcoming thousands of visitors to the city for an iconic worldwide event this May. Volunteering is an opportunity to meet new people, gain skills and make great memories. It is a rewarding experience to feel part of a team and to have contributed to an event that will be talked about for decades, the advert reads. In order to apply, you will need to be 18 years of age, have the right to volunteer in the UK and be available for several volunteering shifts. The revelation volunteers will be used for such a profitable event angered many on Twitter as the advert was shared across social media. One Liverpool resident had tweeted, I get that volunteering helps with big events. But these look like paid jobs that at Liverpool Labour really shouldn't be trying to push. The restrictions and benefits point toward paid jobs. I'm so disappointed they are being promoted as volunteers in order to protect profits. People should be paid for work, more so in a cost of living crisis. And yet these require availability for a number of shifts. No pay, no travel expenses and to be available for training, another added to the huge wave of criticism. Event takes in millions from country fees and ticket fees yet won't pay people to the hard work, a third Twitter user added, as another sarcastically wrote, yay for the volunteer recognition scheme, that'll really help pay the bills in a cost of living crisis. Tuck Northwest, a trade union, told their Twitter followers on February 3rd, We've had a number of people ask questions about this scheme and we're contacting the council to find out more workers should be paid, and these advertised roles look like more than people might expect from volunteers. Mayor of Liverpool Joanne Anderson, a Labour Party politician, replied directly to the union's tweet, writing, Volunteering is an integral part of holding large events in the UK. The trade union and labour movement have been built on volunteer time. I have given hours and hours of free time to the labour movement, even paid subs for the privilege.
Her response was heavily criticized, with one Twitter user stating, The Eurovision is not a charity that needs volunteers to survive. It's an event where a lot of money will be made for companies and workers should be paid. Another added, the work of a person volunteering in the labor movement is realized by the class they are a part of growing in strength, not by event coordinators. The Mirror has approached Liverpool City Council and the Mayor of Liverpool for comment on this story. Alongside the criticism on social media, some shared their excitement at getting the chance to volunteer and be a part of Liverpool's Eurovision story. One Eurovision fan tweeted, I have hashtag volunteered for all kinds over the years and for many different reasons. This is the ultimate opportunity, I am so going to try for this at Cultural Pool hashtag Eurovision 2023. What an incredible opportunity to be part of making this year's at Eurovision one to remember, another added as the advert went live. One of the volunteer roles available will see willing participants working outdoors, with Liverpool Council providing waterproof jackets as part of the official Eurovision uniform. Working between Friday 5, Saturday 13 May, Eurovision Village volunteers will work a variety of shift patterns between the hours of 9 a.m. and 11 p.m. and be responsible for meeting and greeting spectators and scanning entry tickets. There is also the option to be involved in artist liaison support which sees volunteers welcoming, meet and greet, artists into the backstage area, cleansing and coordination of dressing rooms, replenishing riders, according to the job description. The advert adds, please note that both roles will involve you being on your feet for the duration of your shift. You will also be volunteering in a fast-paced environment. As a Eurovision Village volunteer you do not need any prior education or training but you must demonstrate that you are willing and able to attend all essential training to prepare you for the role. Applicants must be over the age of 18, able to speak and read English or communicate in British Sign Language and available to work at least four volunteer shifts between 1 May and May 14, 2023. Eurovision volunteer duties will support the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 event program, they will not act as a substitute for paid positions. Eurovision volunteers will not replace security, stewards, first aid or emergency service requirements at events, the advert concludes. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29